David Pearson. He has moved closer. Can he do it? He's going to pull out now. He's going to try for the track. I don't know. He's down on the inside. He's he, even. He's got the lead, but there's a car ahead of him. There's a slower car ahead of him. And Richard Petty and Pearson go high. Pearson now has the lead. Petty tries to... As they come out of the fourth turn, they only have about 750 yards to go. Oh! It's an extra combination right away. They did hit. Oh! Petty smashes into the wall. Will he come across the start-finish line? He's going to win the race. He's going to win it spinning. As he, I believe, will take the checkered flag. No, he did not make it. He, he is less than 100 yards from it. Here comes Pearson. Pearson is going to try to make it across the finish line. Teddy has his car going. Pearson's going to win it. Oh, gosh, he wins the race. What a finish for a boy. I've never seen anything like that. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable because here is Richard Petty, not more than maybe 150 feet from it. Got to run down the back. It's going to be a drag race off turn four, but I just don't see him being able to pull it off. He's getting a big push. He's getting a big push. He's coming. He's coming. He's up to second. Hamlin to second. Watch the inside. Watch the inside. Mark Truex Jr. Three wide. Truex to the bottom. Oh, no. No, no, Red. Kenza saves it. Here they come to the line. This is the finish of the Daytona 500. Side by side. Bouncing off each other. I think it was Denny Hamlin. I have it as Hamlin. Hamlin. By an inch. What Denny a Hamlin. By oh, an my inch. goodness. <clears throat> At this near photo finish. The first Daytona 500 was decided in a photo finish. Look at that. Wow. Inches. Way through turn one and two. Mark Martin is driving the race of his life. And there's nobody that's better. And holding people off at Daytona. And Kyle Busch lagged back a little bit. Is he going to get help? Is he going to come? He's looking. Almost. He almost squeezed Harvick into the wall. And here comes Harvick, the 29, with Matt Kenseth. Oh, Mark got loose. Mark got loose. And Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No caution. They're side by side. Right to the line. Big crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. everywhere. Boyer's on fire. Jeff Gordon's wrecked. And they Montoya. are still wrecking. Montoya, Stremme, Kenseth, Biffle, Marlin, Carl Edwards, Casey Mears all crashed on the final lap. Have you ever? Well, a couple of times. Kevin Harvick, who took over the seat in what became the 29 after the death of Dale Earnhardt, Stormed up the outside. Kyle Busch couldn't hold him off. He had a full head of steam into turn three. There yes, was no question did. you were going to have to go the outside. Mark was not going to give up the inside. What happens back here is Kyle Busch gets on the apron ever so slightly, gets into the 17, and it's on from there. There's a car turning over. Look at this finish. And it's a drag race to the line, and we've seen Harvick do that before. Yes, we have. Passing some of the strikes just in the last lap trying to take it home. It's all come down to this. Out of turn two, Donnie Allison in first. Where will Kale make his move? He comes to the inside. Donnie Allison throws the block. Kale hits him. He slides. Donnie Allison slides. They hit again. They drive into the turn. They're hitting the wall. They're head on the wall. They slide down to the inside. Let's watch those third place cars. They're out of it. Who is going to win it? Two cars are out. In the backstretch are the leaders. Watching for the leaders to come. They're still up in turns three and four. The leaders are up in turns three and four. Coming down, Richard Petty is now pulling out in front. Darrell Waltrip is in second. A.J. Boyd is in third. Here they come. Waltrip trying to slingshot. Petty is out in front at the line. Waltrip to the inside. Petty wins it. Let's look again at that crash. Here it is. They're in the into the turn already, spinning, sliding. The hopes for Donnie Allison vanish. Cale Yarbrough trying to win his third. He's out of it. A sad moment for these people, but for Richard Petty, hurt all of last year, driving most of the year with a broken and battered body. He comes home a winner today after 45 straight losses. And here comes a $60,000 car 
becoming a 22-passenger school bus to bring his crew to Victory Lane. And, and there's a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The tempers overflowing. They're angry. They know they have lost. And what a bitter defeat. But Earnhardt has a benefit. There's a slow car up ahead. And there's trouble coming off a of turn two. Some cars get strangled. It might be this. Whoever gets back to the start finish line, they'll get the white and the yellow together. Lake Speed and John Andretti tangled as the leaders head for turn number three. Andretti and Spencer got together. This could be the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte goes to the outside. Labonte up high. Earnhardt uses the lap car of Rick Bass to the, as a pick. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally, the most anticipated moment in racing. If John Elway can win the Super Bowl, Dale Earnhardt said he could win the Daytona 500. And if he comes around under caution to complete this final lap, the taste of long-awaited victory will be his. Checkered flag, Dale Earnhardt finally is a champion of the Daytona 500. Look out on pit road. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport, except this race until today. Ah, there goes the grass. Yeah, goodbye. A smoke show. <laughs> well, the fellow who drives his craftsman truck, Ron Hornaday, likes to do yeah. when he celebrates a victory. And now, look at that throng. Can he get to victory lane from here? He's going to have to have a lot of help from a lot of security people Come to get on, there, guys. it looks like. I Don't want worry. to hear what he has to say. Don't worry. He's won at this racetrack 30 times. He, better than anyone, knows the way to victory lane out of his car and listen to this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just for all them race fans and all them people have been saying, Dale, this is your year. Dale, this is your year. And boy, a lot of them said it this year. All the way from Mr. France, all the way down to Todd Parrott and all the guys on the team. The Daytona 500 is ours. We've won it, we've won it, we've won it.